Well, if from generation to generation, the onslaught of attack on the human being and the nervous system is increasing, well, clearly there is one thing that's becoming very good, which is compensation mechanism. So that's one form of intelligence that the nervous system has. But first it shuts down, we shut down sensitivity. So all, it's like all the energy is taken away from here, dare I say the feminine, the feminine aspect of the nervous system, receive, and it's going to put it into the masculine, which is the problem solving or the action generating. So that is going to overdevelop. But it's not overdeveloping, it's, it's not the right word. Only this is being utilized. So this is becoming extremely weak and this is becoming overly tense. There's no balance. So I'm not sure if this is, because uh, I, I wanted to plug the male and female energies into this, it's irrelevant. One thing is for sure, the way the world is, there's an aspect of the nervous system that is over, that's constantly on, which is compensation. How do I survive this constant barrage of attack? Attack means it's, it's too much data. And I can't process the data, I don't know how to process it, I don't know how to digest it. And I'm talking about like from the outside, just even of our environment, let alone talk about something greater than that. In other words, people are constantly in fear. The nervous system feels always in, threatened, and it is. Every, you, today we, we don't realize, like, you know that truck when it passes in front of you, you know the level of violence that it is? For your nervous system, this is abnormal. It's so intense. You have like a fucking a, a, a machine that is so fucking powerful that can crush your very existence. It's, like, it's all that brute power is passing next to you. In a way, it's fucking awesome. Respect, I understand. But from, for your, from your nervous system's perspective, this is a total insanity. Just the sound of it. Look, there's one passing now. Just the sound of it. Is, the sound of it is so inhumane and so unnatural and it creates a distortion in your, in your own field. But now we numb you, you numb yourself because you're like, well, how do you do that? If something gets tense in your ears, little nuances so that you shut the sound out. So it doesn't invade you so intensely. And so on and so forth. Now, you've, now you, can, you get accustomed to it. You don't think about it. Sometimes. So what I wanted to say is that the, the faculty of compensation is always, always on and extreme. And the, and the, and the faculty of sensitivity is, is becoming weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. And it's never strengthened, tonified, evolved, so that its own power can come and bring a balance in the organism. But the natural reflex is to climb up and protect yourself, which is an intelligent, an intelligent response, considering the circumstances. That from the very first moment you're born, like let's say, let's, say, let's say you're born in a hospital. Like do you understand how, like people don't think it. I'm like, do you understand where you are? <laughs> Imagine, you're, like, you're living in mommy's water. And they take you out with these neon lights and these crazy people, their masks and tools and machines and sounds and their perpetual anxiety and fear because for modern medicine, and I'm not saying they're right or wrong, birthing is a disease. Shit is going to go wrong. So everybody's anxious. This is, where, this is how they greet you. This is not, I'm not here to disrespect that. I'm just saying, so you're born into that space for, for most, most of us. Imagine, for a second you're like... <gasps> You haven't even taken your first breath and you're like, you feel, you're perceiving, right? You, you were like a little, let's pretend that you were like in a little bubble of love. Let's pretend, right? Because you're really in a bubble of toxic fucking juice, <laughs> all right? But for the sake of conversation, and then there you are in, in a world which is, you're greeted into a world which is completely upside down. It's not natural. No, nothing is natural. The light is not natural. The people are there are not natural. The doctor is not a natural doctor. The nurse is not a natural doctor. Do you have things to plug in? Imagine you, you're, you're invaded by this in a space with their machine beep, 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 in the room and then, and then there's other people outside and then the people dying. You're in a place of birth and people are dying next to you. Like maybe down the hall or, God knows, or upstairs or 
All that is there, imagine. So all this to say, from the very first second, your sensitivity is being overwhelmed. You, you, you never have the chance to relax and start to perceive slowly but surely and slowly build the strength of the sensitive organ. It's already overstimulated, which weakens it. It's like if you go to the gym for the first time and you lift heavy weights, you're going to tear your muscles. And then the, muscles is the muscle is now traumatized. It'll have a very hard time to repair itself unless it, unless it has the proper circumstances. Well, you would, but you never do get the proper circumstances, a safe space. That's what you're really looking for. But, you, but, but there is none. Or it's very rare. That would be more fair. So, so that, that part, that organ of sensitivity never gains its power. It becomes distorted. So you see some people are hard like a rock and some people are like overly sensitive. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. It becomes a meme. Any sane person would never want to be like that. It's like, relax, dude. Like, they, they get taken over by everything and it, it becomes a drug on, on its own. So hopefully I'm making sense and we can wrap up today's, uh, today's flow and saying, well, the very first step in healing is to start to reclaim that sensitivity. And in order to do that, the tension, the protection mechanism, has to slowly, it's, it's a perfect balance. It's done, it's not, we're not taking drugs here where the ayahuasca forces you to be open and in, and no, no, no. no. Uh, nah, no I said a, I said a word, that's a sacred word, you're not supposed to talk about anything. It's gonna offend somebody. Anyways, the point is, slowly you decompensate. That means release tension, and slowly the sensitive aspect of the nervous system comes and starts to communicate, and slowly, slowly, it starts to gain strength, and as it gains strength, something funny and magical happens. It's like, well, I don't need to be as tense, because a new form of intelligence and a new form of harmonization takes place. Ah, now we're talking. So that being said, I ain't got nothing else to add.